From the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KARK for today. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for waking up with us here at 5 a.m. on your Tuesday morning. I'm DJ Williams, and this is Claire Kreitz. Yeah, a lot to get to this morning, and a lot of kids are enjoying a snow day. Many schools are closed today because of road conditions. That's where we're going to find our Dorothea Wilson. Well, she's out right now with trying to give uh, people an up deal of what those roads look like. And, uh, Dorothea, you said earlier the interstate seem, uh, obviously, they still could be slick, but they seem that RDOT's done a great job. But, you know, if you were to give people an idea of what it looks like on the road, roads getting to the interstate, what do those look like? Yep, so if you take a look with me, well, first of all, good morning, everybody, and I do want to show a piece of my snowman. I'm trying to get a snowman here, but a, the, the snow is a little bit too powdery to do that, but I'm still working on it. You see, I got a good handy dandy tool here, so I'll work that out. Now, if you take a look with me, this is one of the side roads that gets you to the interstate. Now, we talked a little bit about, and I know you can probably see really good, or you may not, but we talked a little, about, a little bit about the roads are not exactly clear for the way to get to the interstate, and there is something called black ice that you really want to be careful careful of because what black ice is it's once the snow kind of melts just a little bit it starts to take the color of the road so you actually think it's the road but it's technically not it's still ice and it's very very slick so you really want to be careful out here so you see there is still some ice still some ice here and it is a little dark in color so that again would be considered black ice so you want to be careful when you're getting to the road but again our dot has done a fantabulous job fantastic job with making sure the interstates are clear which you can see right here this is right downtown right off of 630 and you can see a little bit where it's clear over there but then right on the side street there is some snow and some black ice so make sure to be careful but in the meantime if you don't have to leave your home don't leave your home there are lots of things you can do and ways you can enjoy the snow we're going to sled a little bit later i'm gonna see if i can get a snowman or at least a snow cone or something but in the meantime you guys back to you yes yes and you know what dj i'm laughing because it is so cold out here that is funny that is absolutely insane the wind is blowing look at this I mean, the snow is actually coming from off the ground because of the wind, because it's so powdery. And my snowman here is just no life to it at all. But to talk about those roads, so like I mentioned earlier, our dot did a fabulous job with making sure that the interstates are their interstate, excuse me, is nice and clear. As you can see, there are some cars traveling down the interstate. We're right off of 630 here, and they're traveling nice and smoothly because they have done a great job of making sure that was clear. But I do want people to take extreme precaution with the side roads here because if you notice, these side roads, they still have have snow and even though the snow you know from driving you know may have melted down a little bit there's something called black ice that you have to be careful of and what black ice is it's when the ice starts to change color and look like it's the ground but it's actually still ice so it's really still very sleek so if you can see it's really hard if I tap 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 you can still see that there's some ice there and it's really sleek so people have to be very very careful with that thinking that it's the ground or thinking that it's the road but it's actually still ice other than that it's amazing out here other than cold you see the wind my hair is blowing all in my face because the wind is really really blowing out here but it's beautiful it's nice and white the snow is not it's not particularly cooperating with me with my snowman but I'm gonna get something together I do see Claire's ice angel from yesterday so we'll take a look at that and we'll see if i can make one better in the meantime you guys stay warm in there back to you hi good morning yes so i'm out here the wind is blowing it is nice and cold so if you have to come out bundle up but if you can see right here on the side roads now earlier i let you know that our dot did a great job with the interstates if you can see over there on 6 30 cars are nice and rolling by because the roads are nice and clear but if you see this side street right here you'll still see that there's some snow and a little bit of ice and that's because those the side roads haven't been cleared yet too much so you want to be careful when 
when you're getting on the side roads to get onto the interstate because there's a thing called black ice and that could be really tricky because it can have you to believe that the roads are clear but it's still icy and slick so be careful of that now here's to the good part now yesterday i know claire was with you because i had a day off and she made a snow angel so what i'm gonna do is show you how you can have fun in this winter weather if you're still at home and i'm gonna make a snow angel and we'll see which one is the best now mind you this is my very first time because i did not grow up in the snow so i don't know how to maneuver snow too well but i'm gonna get down there and see if i can do a better job let's see okay <laughs> okay so you do like this all right let's see claire oh oh uh, mine is mine has cool ridges in it from my jacket i guess but mine isn't so cool at all mine it kind of looks you know what it's kind of cute but i think definitely claire won that one but you guys there's lots you can do in the snow but the first thing keep the main thing the main thing you want to make sure that you're safe out here on the roads the interstates are clear but the side roads are still snowy and there's still enough snow for you to enjoy with your family and friends you know i kind of have some ridges in there do you see that i kind of I kind of think mine is cute, even though Claire's is a little more prominent. You can see my ridges in there. But DJ, in the meantime, back to you. Yeah, what are you giving that out of 10? I mean, I feel like I'm a little biased. Yeah, what are you this giving is a, yeah, This is a competition here, but if I'm going to, I'll rate it an 8. It's generous. Right. What were you going to rate it? Maybe seven, you know? Oh, okay. Well, a lot of, she had foot and elbow in yeah. hand and it's, you know, it there's is what a, it is. There's, yeah. It's our first time though. We'll it work is. on it. We'll work on we'll it. Work she'll on she'll it. get to practice. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Yes, good morning DJ, good morning Claire. So I'll still tell you a quick bit about the roads. The interstates are nice and clear. RDOT has done a great job with that. The side roads here are still a bit icy, so you want to be careful. Make sure you're mindful of black ice. That's when the grounds look like it's ground, but it's actually ice. So it's still a little sleek and slippery, so you want to be careful with that. But yes, on to the good part. You see that car is going nice and carefully but on to the good part yes this is my first experience with snow so needless to say i'm excited about it and a little crazy you know scared because i feel challenged because claire did a whole bunch of stuff yesterday in the snow so i want to make sure that i give you that same energy however if I fall off the sled, don't laugh at me, okay? All right, but this is one of the things that you can do with your family and friends if you're home and you don't have to go to work. So here we go. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's one of the things that you can do. I think I may need a bigger sled, but you can see if you're on a higher hill, you can go much further and much faster. Back to you guys. <laughs> DJ's not impressed. I am impressed, Dorothea. That was great. You're impressed? Yes, I'm impressed. That was all about six, six feet. This is our first time. All right, you I'm going to let it slide, small. Dorothea. I'm going to need you start to venture small. around, maybe find a little bit bigger hill. All right, I need you to get that true experience. <laughs> Oh, Lord, oh. I'm sorry. I tried to, you know. Come on. <laughs> give, her, give her a little oh, bit man. of a break. It's exhilarating. My heart was pumping yes, right there. Me All right. Too. Is that what you want to hear? Yes, it is. All right. Fair 